Now, the next one is using wire again. And there is actually a template. Here we go. So this is what that picture was. I'll show you here. Da, da, da. Or rather, hang on, let's just do that again. Da, da, da. Right. So, storage rack, wire. It says curve, curve the foot, and then we're going to put it in the hole like that, curve it round like that, and then you know, I reckon I can cut this with scissors, it's ever so thin. Well, I mean, it's ever so soft. There we go. Let's just see if that fits in. Didn't I just do this and now I can't fit it in? I totally did just do this. And now it's too short. Right. I'm hoping I've got enough wire to try that again. Right. So, curl the bottom. Put it in the hole. You're not curled enough. I'm just going to put the lid on the glue so I don't need it for a minute. Uh, put that in there. Put that up there. Curl it round. Yeah, I'm still in the hole. Oh, come back! Okay, so cut it. There. Right. Okay. I've done one, I've done one. So, there is one. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think we'll do. Okay, next up. Let's try this one. Foot. I think I curved it too much, guys. Back here. Just get the shape right. There we go. Da, da, da. Take it out without bending it. Right, so I've done these two bits. Okay, let us try and I wonder if I can recycle this bit. That's a bit sharp. I'm 
Okay. Let's see if I can recycle this bit. slightly you now. Come on. I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit harder. Oh, it wasn't too bad actually. Once I got it in, I think that's quite nice about copper. This does feel like it might be copper or it could be aluminium but either way it, it hopefully will warm up if you warm it up slightly it should bend a little bit better oh my word is this exactly going to fit in Maybe not exactly, but it's going to be pretty close. Come on, in you go. In, in, in. Oh, look at that. It's pretty close. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So now I've got to try and draw it again. So it was definitely easier when I curled the top bit of it. Did it too much? It's all a little bit less. I mean, obviously, you don't need to use the same. You don't need to do one in each mould, but it's quite handy in case you accidentally break one that you've got a second one ready. Oh, gosh, I cut that by mistake. Get in there. Okay, so they're in there. Now I've got to try and get them out again. This has cut another whole wire. Slightly optimistic that I can cut another whole wire. Oh, look, I've got this annoying kink in that one. Oh well. Yeah, it says cut another whole wire, but I mean I don't have another whole wire after all the other shenanigans. Let's just double check I've not got any hidden no no no. look it's all right it's all right there is another wire in here okay right so I need I'm assuming that's 45 45 millimeters 25 and 10 bend E Right, okay, so these ones I need to then bend the top and the bottom so the height is 25. This one I need to hook over the top and then just bend the bottom 
and this one I need to create a C shape. So it says bend E as shown. What the hell is E? Oh, okay. E is that tiny, tiny one. And then connect E with A, B as shown. Complete two pieces of F. So basically I'm just putting two little tiny little bits around just to keep that in place. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. This wire is so slippery in my fingers. Okay. Nope, come on, untangle. Thank you very much. Right. Let's do some cutting, shall we? So this one needs to be one centimetre and I need four of those. Be free, my little centimetre lengths. I know I got a ruler when I got a perfectly good ruler on this. Uh, right, and then I need four pieces that are 2.5. There you go. One. Two. Three. Let's just try and straighten that little can keep it out. Okay. Four and then I need forty five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One. Yep. Oh, we've got a bit wonky there. Dare I say it? Yes, I dare. It's gone a bit kinky again. Oh, 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 okay. Two, three, four, and a little bit. And then... Come on, think about it. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right. So, oh gosh, this is going to be super fiddly again, isn't it? Basically, these bits are going to go in there, a leg seal, and then these little bits. Let me see, they're going to be like a little hook. And it's going to go... It's going to try and attach them. So if I hold it there... I think, to be honest, it would have probably been a little bit easier to make made O-rings, but... Let's go with this. Oh, God, blimey. It's very hard to get yourself in there. Come on. I think I needed to curve that round a little bit. And then hopefully it will just squash. You don't want to overwork it though because it will take the cover off the metal. As you can see where it was cut, you can see that there's like a silver alloy underneath. Right, okay, we've attached one. 
Hurrah! This time though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook one side round slightly and then hook the top one round slightly and by doing that, what I'm hoping is it'll be much easier just to squash them but we shall see okay they suggest holding these which actually probably isn't a bad idea although I'm not sure how strong no they're not strong at all so don't don't do that I think you've got two pairs of pliers that probably work better right Might as well go make yourself a cup of tea, guys, because it's ah! <laughs> it's gonna take me a while. <laughs> Come on, you know you want to go on it. Come on. Come on, little bit of wire. You can do it. When you're being cute. Ah, okay, we're on. We're on, we're on. Now we're off. No, we're on. Okay. I would recommend some flat nose pliers as well. If you don't have jewellery pliers, and then I suggest putting a tiny bit of masking tape around sort of handyman odd job pliers because you might stand a chance of not scraping all the metal off. There we go. Look, there's one. I only got to make another one though, so that's not too bad. Right, okay. Need to open it up slightly. Just making sure I got it the right way around. Come on. I would say this is just like jewellery making, but surprisingly enough, I'm better at that than I am with this. I think it's because normally I work in silver and it's just a little bit tougher. Oh, come on. Okay, and there we go. Where's my last little? There it is. Mind you, if it was tougher, it would be a lot harder to get in. Come on, in you get. but I think that's all right. Ooh. Okay, so the next bit is to do the long ones, I think. So it said half a centimetre, half a centimetre. So we've got a hook and then half a centimetre, oh that isn't half a centimetre, it's a bit over ambitious that one, and hopefully that should be 25, a little bit long. A little bit long, but I think as long as we're all the same, it'll be fine. Let's 
So that one's exact. So how did I manage that then? How did I manage that? I made this one just a tiny bit too long actually. There we go, so we've got two. too many then. four of those and then I need to do the same for these because that one's just a hook over and the other side is just oh, like that should be one and a half oh well nearly one and a half over and then a half hook over okay So this one, where are we starting? It wants to start just below there. I do think that five five was a bit much, but okay. Oh, one around. That is quite a big gap. I really don't think it needs to be that much, but it's uh, we won't know until it's over, really. Get down. Thank you. So they kind of need to be the same distance apart, which is slightly what I'm struggling with here then we're going to wrap it around 
both of that side. Just did it totally the wrong way. My work's never been my fault, I'll tell you. Right. Okay, that one goes over, please. Shouldn't be on this side. Go the other side. Chop, chop. Lovely job. Okay. Wow, this is not looking good at all. <laughs> trying to put it actually in here to try and make it a little bit stronger. shortened it quite substantially which was a bit idiotic come on get a bit longer Okay. No, no. It's come undone. Come on. There we go. Right. that one so I just have one more. I'm scared to do this one. Uh, oh dear. Right okay. Okay, that one sort of went all right. No, I'm completely, totally on them, on the lean now, though. All right, so you need to be just a tiny bit higher. Come on. Oh, I can't even see where the edge is. Oh, 
this one needs to be down here. Wow, this one has been a real challenge. Come on down. Down. It's actually pulled some of that, that out. I guess that's not too awful. Maybe it just feels awful. Might be better once we've got the next bits in. Yes, folks, there is more. Right, so put that on there. That goes over there and should hopefully flan okay one bar on the shelf <laughs> my word oh come on come on come on I'm going to flatten them I think okay <laughs> I'm wonky now. Come on, back up. My swirls aren't very swirly in the middle anymore. Ooh, oh, that looks quite nice. Okay. Right. So that hooks on that side goes over there and then it folds underneath I'm seriously hoping this is the hardest bit to go along and actually tighten them all up. There you go, got a nice hud. That's kind of worked. I think it's just a case of just tidying it up now. I wonder if I can tighten those up somehow. seem to work. So all I'm doing is squeezing really hard because the metal's so thin it sort of does squash but it does mean that it looks a little bit flat which I don't like but Ooh, 
Don't do it that way, I'll accidentally cut it. Okay. That's a lot sturdier now, actually. And I think just with a few little alterations to the feet, it does seem to stand up. Oh, come here, you. <gasps> Look! It stands! <laughs> it's like a miracle! Okay. Well, that kind of works. Like that. Oh. I've just flattened one out slightly. Come on, back in. Super job! Right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!